How y'all doing out there? We back here for another review for April Visuals Live. And we are bringing this at the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. I am Mr. LRK Production himself, studio owner. You can follow me on all social medias at Respect Mr. Walker. And let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so let's get to unboxing this bad boy, see what's inside. And also to let y'all know, this is not the creator bundle. This is the regular uh, the regular package, which is about five to $600 at your regular retail stores and stuff like that as far as like Best Buy and things of that nature. So as we open this bad boy up, great packaging, everything put in here, of course, nice and neatly. That's one thing you kinda gotta check for, you know, make sure that everything is put in there in order. And as we can see, as we unbox this bad boy and unlock the nature of it, uh, you got a casing, everything that comes with it. Uh, in this part, in this aspect, let's see what's in here. And we open this up and let's see what surprises we have in store. All right. Ah, hold on, being a little funny with me. Got to trying to play hard to get right now. Oh, you know what? No, you can do this. So sometimes it can just be so simple. All right, and it looked like this is an extra handle or maybe a battery. What is it? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right, so what we got right here is a lanyard, something that you can tax on to your wrist, something like that easily. So that way when you're carrying it around and maybe you just don't want to even hold it in your hand, it's still right there on hand and everything is all there put together. That way you ain't got to look in your bag. You ain't got to look in your pocket. You ain't got to look for a thousand other things. Even though this is small and compact enough to where it can actually fit in your pockets and stuff like that. For somebody who does like events and work with multiple uh, cameras and multiple uh, equipments and things like that, you want something that you can just easily grab and go and go to and uh, be able to use at that moment. So, all right. So as we move on to discovering a little bit more about this, let's Ooh, an extra little handle that goes on into it and it looks like you could be able to charge it right here that way you can charge it with an end and also for anything that you want to use as far as adjustments as far as like with tripods and things like that for a selfie stick you're also able to do that with whatever mount that you do have just make sure that it can is the right one to use for it before you do so all right uh what i also want to mention is with the pocket too i know it was kind of difficult especially when we're moving into this new time and age as far as with uh, how the algorithms are playing these games, as far as with uh, IG, the reels, the long format, I think it's what, 19, uh, nine by 16 um, that you have to shoot as far as the formatting and pr pretty much TikTok, <laughs> the TikTok long uh, format as far as like that. So with the Pocket 2, I know it was difficult to be able to shoot like that because every time you flick this hand or whatever, it, it didn't always work. But with the Pocket 3, it is so much simpler. You gotta do is simply just do that and boom. Like you don't have to do it as much or as hard. It'll do it simply and easily. And it's very, very convenient. So that way you don't have to have to do it in post. It's already done for you in that aspect. Also to help send those files over directly to the clients, just download the Memo app. That way you can send them, send them directly to your phone using the Wi-Fi and be able to do all the editing that you need to. And then simply just send them off just like that. That way you ain't even got to bring them over to your laptop or your desktop or whatever. They go strictly and directly right to your phone. It's that simple and it's that easy. All right. So some examples that you are about to be privy to are things that were shot in the wild. Actually footage that was shot 4K, 60 frames per second. That way you can be able to see for yourselves and you be the judge of how it looks to you as far as this brilliant product like we said this is the dji osmo pocket 3 so that way you can be able to judge for yourself but we we want to have value and things and the things that we purchase and we want to make sure that it brings the value into the company and whatever that we're trying to do and i'm all about quality not quantity and one thing i can say about this is that it definitely brings quality over quantity
right, so after this review, like we said, on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, let me know what you think. Don't be shy, please. Go in the comments. Let us know exactly what you think. And be honest. Be honest. If, you, if you're feeling it, let us know. If you're not and you think it might be some little tweaks that you may want to see or some things that you have more questions about, don't be shy. Go into, the like we said, the comment section. Let us know everything that you want to know. And that way we can also know about, uh, let the company know about, hey, this is a brilliant product. We would love more of this. We want more of this. Hey, we want to add this to the lineup. You might want to add this to the gear amongst the things that you may want to bring with you. I know I do. Hell, <laughs> um, I would love to have this alongside with me with all the stuff that I bring. So, you know, like we said, go in the comments, let us know. So that way we can give a great review on all these items and all this stuff. Uh, you can follow me on all social media platforms at Respect Mr. Walker. Like we said, this review is done for April visuals. If you want to check out more, just be sure to hit the website and definitely check out the next one that's coming right up. Thank you.